In this video, we see how to register point clouds in StoneX Reconstructor. Select the point clouds you want to import. If you want to work with scans coming from X300 Laser Scanner, select X3S files. Drag and drop. Tick Preprocessing, next. Choose if you want to color the point clouds. Note that pictures and cal files must be in the same folder of X3S scans. Select the scans and load them. As you see the scans need to be superimposed in order to create a unique 3D model. That procedure is called registration. It can be performed in two steps, the pre-registration will compute a rough alignment between the imported models, the alignment can be later refined using a registration tool. Let's see how the automatic pre-registration works. Select the point cloud to be used as a reference, this will not be moved in space. Define the parameters as you prefer. Click on pre-register. Color the scans by ID to understand better the registration quality. You may need to modify the cut planes and view parameters. Once you are sure that the scans are correctly pre-registered, click on yes. Do the same with the new couple of point clouds. If the pre-registration is correct, you can you can continue with the registration tools, otherwise perform the manual pre-registration. You must use 2x2 two two scans. Define which is the reference model and the moving one. To work in the zoom views, click the control key on your keyboard. Select couples of homologous points. You can select another color layer or increase the contrast of the reflectance. Check the errors. Compute. Now do the same with the other couple. The scan already used in the previous step must be the reference model. You can move the point, simply dragging it, or delete it right clicking with the mouse. Now let's see the registration tools. The bundle adjustment registers together end clouds at the same time, diffusing and minimizing the global registration error. The ICP registration instead works only for one pair of clouds at a time. 